Middle Age game is now it's your time to shine in my time at Evershine. That probably doesn't make sense, but let me tell you about it. So on this show, I'm known or should be known as the cozy casual gamer. I don't know how that happened, but it just happened. And you probably heard about us as an Antoine and I talk about my time at Sandrock. Um, I played my time at Porsche. They just announced a new game last week uh, in the My Time series, the third game, and released on Kickstarter as of me recording this video right now. So if you're watching the live show, they're at $1.55 million. Yesterday, they had one4 I'm very sure they will pass $3 million for sure. I'm sure they are already the most highest crowdfunded Chinese game in Western history on Kickstarter, of course. Right? So again, this is a company based in Chongqing, China. To give you some numbers as well, like their first game, Porsche raised $146,000 right, at the end of the Kickstarter. Then they just 3 x it. My time at Sandra rate $524,000. And uh, now with my time at Evershine, they're already at $1.5 million. And again, each game has been better, to be honest. So what's different, right? If you're watching the video, if you go onto the Kickstarter page, uh, you're going to notice a new engine. This looks totally different from like these, Adam always was the one who taught me this word, chibi style game effects was like, because I never heard of chibi before until I met Adam. But basically, yeah, the big head, small body sort of style. That was Porsche and Sandrock was famous for that really turns some people off. But now you have this newer model. People compare it to that free-to-play MMO Palea, but it looks better. It looks, it still looks generic, but it still does look much better than the previous game. Uh, one of the things as well is that they are reducing the number of romanceable characters. In, in Porsche, you just had one or two, so that was the first game, right? But in Sandrock, there were a lot of people who were like, yes, I want to date this person and marry this person. But now they're like reducing it down but they're giving you more choices in terms of what you can do. I'd imagine expanding the dating experience. I'm playing Coral Island. and Coral Island, there's 40 or 50 places you can go on a date in the game and in varying amounts of money. Everything is different. Everything's scripted. So it looks like how you'd imagine a date would go in, in real life. It feels that we on a date for some reason. One of the things they also mentioned is that the, the romance lines are going to be voiced, which is awesome because I've always imagined in the previous games, like what my dating partner, his voice sounds like. But this time, like when you're dating someone, you can have a voice behind that person, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. Multiplayer is something, Senro could K with multiplayer, but again, I don't know anybody who actually played it. Probably the most famous multiplayer cozy life sim would be Stardew Valley. You see this a lot on Riddles, you see this a lot on Shorts, couples playing this together. Whether Evershine can crack the nut that is multiplayer cozy sims is, is another story. Um, let's also not forget Concerned Ape, the guy behind Stardew Valley's new game is coming out next year, which is when this comes out. If they want to compete with, especially against the, you know, the guy who started it all, and we can argue about Harvest Moon or not, that's another story. But uh, multiplayer is supposed to be a little bit better in Evershine. How they're going to do that is another story. I, I guess another big thing is mod support. Though again, how they're going to do this, I can imagine all these people have voice lines and that sort of stuff, and you can integrate it together and to make your own story mods, which would be nice. The one thing my time at Evershine has that I think a lot of other games don't have is a lot of really cool story quests. And whoever does the writing in Porsche and Sandrock, they're these not amazing writing, but it's, it's like your typical primetime show in the US, like on something on CNBC or something like that. Probably not CNBC, on NBC or ABC, something that's, oh, it's good. It makes you laugh, but it's not, oh God, I need to watch all of Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon or something like that. That's story is not that amazing. And then what am I looking for in this game is I think there's the world needs to be more vibrant. Like Coral Island really set the bar for me when it comes to vibrancy in the world. I'd also love some AI in it because at, at the same time, like all these characters have this limited amount of lines. I'd love, this is not going to happen though, of course, but I'd like the cozy life in game where, okay, we're done with all the voice acted lines or in pre-inputted story, let's have a Gen I AI generate some storylines with these characters or something. I think that's very doable. And My Time in Evershine is not coming out for the Switch. It, it is coming out for the Switch too, which does lend credence to something. I remember Adam mentioned this, that 
developers were shown the Switch 2 at some point at some game event or something along those lines. So it is out there in the ether, and we can expect this game releasing for the Switch 2 next year. That being said, I'm buying this for Steam. I'm not buying any Switch Kickstarter games anymore because the performance is not great. But yeah, my time at Evershine, I would say, given this is the company's third game, um, I, I will lessen my usual Kickstarter disclaimer that you might not get a game. Um, this is like so like an 80% chance, but if you're interested, check out the Kickstarter page. Check out the other games on Steam, on whatever platform it is. Check it out on the console, and then decide if you want to back it. As usual, I already has. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to playing this. I literally backed a French game two weeks ago as well, so I have all these cozy license games all kickstarted out for the next two years or so.